We're here at Perth Game Fair, up in Schoon, the grounds of Schoon Palace. Um, we're here in Woodland Row, and I'm here demonstrating with the mobile sawmill that I have. Brought my mobile one, which is an LT70. It's got a petrol engine on it, and it'll cut to 6.1 metres long, and it'll handle up to 95 centimetre diameter log. This one has a Kubota 57 horsepower petrol engine. Um, I can control the blade linear speed on it, so from 21 metres a second to 37 one metres a second. It has a wireless remote so I can walk around with it rather than being stuck at the pulpit or walking back and forward with it, which helps me stay away from all the sawdust. It runs on a 50 mil blade, which are four and a half metres long. Um, it's hydraulic, so it has log lift, tow boards, one of them motorised so you can move the logs backwards and forwards along the length of the bed, um, backstops, claw turner and hold down clamps as well. I do as well as um, what act as an agent for Woodmiser for Scotland North East of England. I do contract sawmilling in my spare time to advertise the product, shall we say. Um, the one previous I did have an LT70, but it had flat bed rails. This one's got rooftop bed rails, it's got vertical backstops, so that helps it. Um, previous to that, I used to run an LT40, which was on 38 mil blades. Um, it was a 42 horsepower diesel. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot meatier, a lot bigger sawmill. I have done a demo already today, so yes, we will be using the remote control so you'll get to see that in operation. Um, yeah, we'll get some people using it as well, mm -hmm. so it'd be good to let people see. The advantage I like about it is the freedom to walk about the machine, stay away from the sawdust. You've got a lot more, you can act as a part labourer as well. What I find when you're cutting rather large logs, you can walk around it and see your limitations of your throat capacity and you can stop before you need to, or you get jammed in the log, which it can happen on big hardens. So yeah, I find it very user friendly. Hopefully gonna hit or ask or meet people from estates who might be showing an interest in either contract sawmilling or potentially buying sawmills from us. You know, there is a lot of estates in Scotland that probably could use one of these machines.